Welcome everybody to our verse of the day. And today we're in Psalm 90 verses 1 and 2. And Psalm 90 verses 1 and 2 says, Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or before you brought forth the world, from everlasting and to everlasting, you are God. And this idea of God being eternal, God being everlasting uh, all the way in the past and everlasting all the way in the future. Some other confessions of faith uh, that we find in the Bible is one about Jesus that says uh, he was and is and is to come. That's language from Revelation. And there's also that, that statement that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what this shows us is God is present and moving with us through time. He's working. He is, uh, he, he is accessible. He's actually our sense of home in every generation and throughout all time. But that this God uh, experiences time differently than us. And in fact, um, before time began and after time ends, this finite life on, that we have in this finite um, world, God is beyond that. And that should give us a sense of home. You know, C.S. Lewis has this quote that says, If I find in myself desires that nothing in this world can satisfy, the only logical explanation is that I was made for another world. So this idea that we have this longing in, in us for a sense of home, and that God in his eternal nature, this like higher, um, this higher desire, uh, within us to have a have an eternal home can be found in him and him alone and the fact that we have it actually shows us that it points us towards where does this come from well it comes from God and it comes from God's eternal nature so my prayer for us today is that we could take a step to just feel at home uh, in God's eternal nature to lay down all of the complications all the fears all the stresses of the current time and place we're in and whatever your current stresses are um, as you think about them and as you think about our societies and our cultures and um, the issues within the real time um, of history unfolding, we can have a hope that, that is greater, an eternal hope that, that anchors us, that grounds us, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Um, so that's my prayer for you today, that you would look to Jesus Christ as being an eternal, secure hope uh, that can anchor you and anchor your soul uh, in this season of life. He's present for you right now, but also he is an eternal home for you. And that's a promise uh, in Jesus if we, if we put our faith in him and, and our trust in him. So I hope you can do that today and experience that today. That's our prayer for you and have a great day, uh, whatever that may look like.